How suitable is the Foxbat for Australian conditions? Well, something that was important to me in choosing to represent the Foxbat in Australia was its suitability for our conditions, which often include the hot, humid climate, dusty gravel strips, bumpy bush airfields, and high levels of ultraviolet radiation. Foxbats are already rugged, robust, and well-built aircraft, designed by the award-winning engineer Yuri Akovlev in the Ukraine. I've received many comments from Lamy's about the design ingenuity and overall integrity of the design of the Foxbat. But points to note for our use in Australia particularly include the following. The propellers have metal leading edges to help minimise stone damage. The landing gear is wide and well sprung with soft 15 x 6 x 6 tyres on all three wheels making them good for those bumpy bush strips. The very light nose means you can lift the nose wheel off at a walking pace on takeoff to avoid gravel, stones and bumps. The low takeoff and landing speeds help to minimise the length of the takeoff and landing runs and therefore the potential for gear and prop damage. The Seconite doped fabric covering on the control surfaces is properly UV proofed and the, U uh, the A22 LS in particular has a metal topped wing. The engine installation ensures that cooling stays within the temperature range even on long hot climbs. And there's no need to worry about ultraviolet and moisture degradation of composite materials in the airframe because it's all metal. There's good ventilation in the cabin, a metal roof to keep the sun off and a strong safety cage to help protect the occupants in the case of an accident. There's a small tail wheel to protect the tail on takeoff and landing. The airframe is all metal, 2024 Alclad anodized aluminium, which minimizes any potential corrosion. And finally, the doors can be removed for hot weather flying if you want. Overall, I believe you'll have to look very long and hard to find an aircraft which is better suited to Australian conditions.